Hello everyone, welcome to another GT Sport FIA video and what a race this was. It went all the way down to the wire, literally. 281 point lobby, so some very fast drivers and again we had another instant quali. I'm not sure this one was my fault, so I pull out here and because he's going very slowly and then I, I go to pull in again on the left hand side and I get smashed up the rear and get a two second penalty. So I'm not sure that one was my fault because there was loads of space on the track and we were kind of minding our own business and this guy comes in at, at a rate of knots. But anyway, let me know in the comments as always whether that was my fault or not. Um, but luckily this Czech driver here in the Ferrari, he also had some kind of incident. So we managed to group up and do our own slipstream for quali. You can have a look at the minimap on the right hand side. We're, we're literally so far behind, it's ridiculous. But we've got our own T, T driver slipstream train here. And actually, for the beginning I was pushing him along, but by the end of the quali lap, I went ahead because I thought the Supra had a bit more power than the Ferrari. And surprisingly, we got 13th and 14th. So I was quite happy about that. Um, I thought we'd be in dead last, but obviously other cars had issues as well. Which puts us kind of in the middle of the pack. And actually, as it turned out, that was probably very, very critical to the race, as we'll see very shortly. Got a nice, um, well, hopefully a nice split screen setup for you here. Let me know if, if you like that or not. Also, feel free to like, dislike, subscribe, unsubscribe if you want. Um, but let me know if I can improve the videos in any way. So we've got our, our check allied driver behind we work together in quali flashing all of the lights and uh, we're going to work together in the race as well so we build up a nice little lights there but my point about us starting in 13th or 14th um the cars behind so he's he fixed jack jack board 25 very fast super one carter he's already dropped off the pack as you can see here on the uh, cinematic view in the bottom he's already lost the slipstream so that pack from 15th behind, I'm not going to score any points on, or any major points today in this race. So qualifying actually is decently important because if you get stuck behind someone loses a toe, early doors, that is your race over. But anyway, back to the pack. So we're in 13th place and I've got to be honest, for quite a bit of this race, I felt massively off the pace and that might sound weird in a race where you're literally going around two long straights and two very long corners. To all flat out but we do this race quite a lot in our fragmentus racing lobbies um in the in the kirith cart community and i always seem to kind of make ground up in the straights kind of hop um three cars and this time i just can't do that so i was stuck in 13th with my czech friend behind in the ferrari and just couldn't really get any momentum but anyway we're going to go into the first corner you can see here, I take the inside line, which I thought might be a good line, but actually I think you pretty much have to be in slip, to be honest. So I came into that corner in 13th, I'm going to come out in 14th actually, if I remember correctly. And not only that, but dropping back actually, so you see the Ferrari driver, he's in the slipstream with the Super on the outside. Um, and he's just going to overtake me now. So now I'm in 14th place and kind of losing ground. You can just see it in the top right. You can see the delta there. I'm kind of falling back. And I was a little bit worried, actually. I thought, hang on, this isn't good because the straight only goes on for so long and I'm not going to have a load of time to recover that to get near the front. Then I realised it's a two-lap race at this point. <laughs> and I looked at the top left and thought, okay, that's a bit better. That gives me more time to come back. But it still took a long time for this, for this gap to kind of come down and to reel in the cars ahead shows you just how powerful the slip stream is and just how important it is to to be in that gap anyway this, this was a really important learning lesson for the next lap where we um we did a much better job but you can see here i'm in no man's land at least i'm not with the lights of jack boarding behind you we're well off the uh well off the pack now so i think at this point i realized well, i'm not going to get dropped here and I'm going to stay within the, the, the all important 7 tenths basically. And when it comes to the corner ahead, hopefully I can really close down that gap. And there is a point coming up where I do get quite a bit of momentum. And I can really feel that gap closing and see the delta coming down. Interestingly, two trains at the moment, so not perfectly harmonious, the group ahead. 
which is good for us because we're, we're at the back of this pack. So at this point in time, we're 14th place. And like I said, looking looking off the pace, it's not looking like we're going to score any major points here. So that 281 looks a million miles away. But anyway, we're catching up with the pack now as we come into this uh, last corner on the lap. Two more corners to go after this one. And again, I'll try the inside line. I think, well, surely the, the shortest way around the corner is going to be the fastest way. And again, I see that, although I'm making a little bit of headway here, to be honest, the pack on the outside, on the top of the banking, is so strong in that slip. I'm not really getting any kind of slingshot. So, in the battle of the slipstream, I saw, this is someone here ends up in the pits. <laughs> You're going to make it up. Literally goes into the pit. So Jack Boarding if you're going to make up in position. <laughs> so that's my top tip. You don't want to You don't want to get pitted in this one. Don't get pitted. We're not olives. Um, this this Frenchman on my right side here, he had a five second penalty. Maybe because he put someone into the pits. I think he also took out the Czech guy in, in quali from the from the chat messages. So I didn't really want to be too close to him, to be honest. I wonder what happened to that guy coming out of the pits. Maybe you could just see him there in the background. He's come out again. But anyway, we moved up into 10th place and kind of jostling for position now. You know, as, as a British driver, we're quite quite good at queuing, quite polite, quite patient, but we know how to kind of dip the shoulder when we need to. So here, the French guy's got the position in the, in the train. And I'm going to let him have that. My check. I don't know, well, they were not really friend because it, it was a ad hoc alliance. Mercenary? <laughs> we're working quite well together. And again, he comes up, I think here, if I remember correctly. He chooses me, you can see on the cinematic view. And he's going to give me a, a timely bump, I think. Which is going to take me past the, uh, the penalty Frenchman. You see there, I just flashed the hazard lights to let him know I like that. Let's do it again. And again, yeah, this, this Frenchman is a bit of a... Uh, not dark horse, I don't know what the word is, but you know, he's potential to mess things up for us because he's got a five second penalty, so he's not going to be anywhere near this pack come the end of the race. I don't know where the penalty line is, but I didn't really want to be too close to him because he didn't have much to lose, if that makes sense. Again, we take the inside line here, but then we slot back in. So I think I've learnt my lesson, which is don't be out of the slip all the way around. You, you do need to tear along this corner. And now, about now, I can feel myself getting some sort of slingshot. And it all goes a bit crazy here. Got Max Power goes off. And uh, all went massively ace combat on the radar. It was a bit fast and furious. But we managed to avoid that. I think two drivers went there. So we've, we've gained... We're gaining positions through attrition, really. <laughs> we're not really doing any legit overtakes until now. Now, this is another key moment for the race because we've got a good exit. And we chose this train on the left-hand side. Two trains to choose from. Our Czech, Czech mercenary joins us as well. And actually, it turns out this train is the hottest ticket in town. You can see here, we are powering ahead. So from being in 14th place up to about 10th, we're now in 4th place going down the back straight. Only one more corner to go. And uh, not looking too bad, actually. Not looking too bad at all. So the train behind are going to kind of filter in. So we're now one train. And I'm thinking this is a pretty good position to be in. And I felt like I had good momentum in terms of the race. It's a good story to come back from uh, where we were in quali to now be in, in uh, fourth place with uh, my Czech friend right behind us well in the Ferrari. So we're coming up now to the last corner just ahead of us and I already knew what I was going to do I was going to stay in the slip on the high side as long as possible but as soon as someone ahead of me made a move for the inside I was going to try and get on the inside of them because I, th I think then the slip train would disintegrate and I just want to be on the inside so here we go so I was, I was kind of waiting now waiting for someone just to, to dip down and it would all break up but to my surprise no one wanted to leave the slip train. <laughs> it's the it's the tidiest slip train you've, you've ever seen of these eight or nine drivers, ten drivers even. 
and it kind of threw my pants into disarray. <laughs> so I kept following and following and following. I thought, okay, right, we're coming right into the uh, last bit now, over the line. And then suddenly I do get a bit of momentum and the, the purple blue car here pops out and gives me a little bit of slip. I might get a little nudge as well and I just thought I might get it on the line. I thought I might get it on the line and it, you look in the top right, it was super, super, super close. Um, but it was a great race and it felt like progress in that race. It felt like we, you know, we, we started as bad as we possibly could have done with that two second penalty in quality. But then we, we came back to finish P4. We'll see how many points um, we got in a second. Maybe I'll have to skip this in the video. Okay, here we go. Fourth place. And how many points? Let's see. Totals up. Two, four, six points. Okay, so, so quite a good result for us. Um, it feels good to be to be getting to 250 points roughly in, in FIA. I wonder if there's a little bit of DR, DR inflation at this point of the game's life cycle but very happy with that we did lose a bit of sr because of that quality so the check driver <laughs> but anyway coming out to fourth place yeah happy with that result i think that's going to be a one and done for fia this week last fia of 2020 so i really hope you enjoyed the videos enjoyed the live streams got a lot of exciting plans for 2021 i think biggest highlight this year for me was probably racing lando norris and to race an actual F1 driver will be something I always remember. So thanks to everyone who supported the stream just by, by watching, by liking, by subscribing. It is massively appreciated. And yeah, we'll see you next time.